Today, both the markets, that is DFM and ADX, close green. Stock stalkers, welcome back. Let's first analyze DFM market index. Today's closing is at 4049, very positive. If you are watching my analysis regularly, I have been mentioning this area is resistance that is around 4030 to 4035 points. We are seeing strong rally to the upside. Market did not take any pause right at the resistance area. So there are good chances in coming days or coming week when it hits the next resistance, it will try to correct itself, come down for a correction. Maybe it can go sideways and then we will decide whether it wants to continue going up or it wants to come down for a deeper correction. For now, clearly we can see DFM market index from 3020 points is climbing up slowly and steadily. Yes, there is some resistance around this zone that is 4060 points. Once this is taken out, next area of hurdle is 4080. So watch out guys, I'm expecting a reversal very soon, meaning anytime it hits the resistance, then I'm expecting it to make a U-turn, a small correction, and then possibly after the correction, it will try to make a new high. Overall, as I keep mentioning, DFM index is very positive and bullish. And now let's talk about ADX market index. Exactly as per my last analysis, I have been mentioning ADX market is just going sideways. It's trying to build up energy here. We are seeing contraction of volatility and boom to the upside, a huge momentum till about 9,560. Yes, at the same time, if you remember, I have been mentioning this area is resistance. Previously, we saw too much of congestion here and then a strong drop to the downside. But since market have already established support here, there are good chances it will make a move to the upside. And exactly this is what we are seeing. I'm expecting a continuation from current levels. Next area of resistance is 9600. Once this is taken out, then we have next hurdle at 9650 to 9653. Yes, ADX index is catching up, but DFM index is more bullish. Once this area of resistance is taken out, that is 9600, it will be in bulls territory. Now it will face next hurdles as I have mentioned already, 9690, then we have 9730 zone. As the market index keeps moving, I will definitely keep you updated about the next hurdles. But for now, ADX index is looking good. And now let's talk about Ajman Bank. Plenty of you have requested for this stock and plenty of you are holding this one as well. So let's have a detailed analysis. I would like to give you a small recap on this stock. Previously in my analysis, I had mentioned Ajman Bank is at a very important area of support. Previously, we saw good bounces from this zone that is 2.00. Whenever market hits this zone, we see good buying pressure. Again, when it hits the same zone, we are seeing a new high or a new peak. After hitting 2.45, we are seeing strong selling pressure. Back to the pavilion, but this time it could not make a new high from here. In fact, selling pressure started right from 2.15, whereas the previous peak was at 2.45. And from here slowly and steadily, it was just hovering around the support zone. Now, mind you, I had mentioned in my previous analysis that there are good chances since this support is been tested again and again, it's getting weaker. Previously, when buyers bought right into the support zone, price did not go any higher. In fact, we saw selling pressure. Again, bulls are trying to push the price higher. Today's closing is at 2.08. Volume is above average. Let me tell you that uptrend has not yet started. We are seeing just a breakout of this range. We can see it was trading within this tight range that is between 2.00 to 2.08. So there are good chances it can again come back to retest the support zone, making it a fake breakout. I would only call this bullish once I see a close above 2.15. I want to see a candle close above the zone to consider Ajman Bank in bulls territory and then we can expect higher highs and higher lows from here. For now, this is very tricky as there are chances that it might hit the resistance. For now, immediate resistance is at 2.11. It can hit the area, come down for a retest till about 2.00. But in case if it comes down and stays above 2.05, this will be an indication it's ready to make a new high. For now, Ajman Bank is still in a downtrend. We saw range-based trading for about a month and now we are seeing a big move. 
Still, we cannot trust this big move at all the quantities here because as I just mentioned, there are chances it can come down for a retest. Yes, adding small quantities at the current level, there is no harm because your stop loss will be small and then slowly and steadily you can expect it to go up. So guys, this was the update on Ajman Bank and the markets. If you liked it, then please support the channel, subscribe and hit the like button for more updates. Thanks for watching. Keep stocking.